Dear brothers and sisters, after calling the people to receive the baptism of repentance, John the Baptist required his followers to change their lives. He precisely defined what the practical fruits of conversion should be like. The conversion must be manifested in sharing material goods with others, like clothes and food. Also, an authentic renewal of heart is manifested in justice and an honest lifestyle. For example, St. John said to tax collectors, exact no more than your rate. St. John never focused the crowd's attention on himself. He was fully aware about his vocation. He knew that his task on earth was to prepare the people for the coming of the Messiah. When a feeling of expectancy had grown among the people who were beginning to think that John might be the Christ, the Baptist immediately reacted telling them that he is not who they think he is. He told them that he was not fit to undo the strap of the sandals of the Messiah, who will soon appear. John explained to the crowds that his baptism was only a preparation for another one, much more important, which he couldn't offer. To become suitable for eternal life, people had to receive the Messiah's baptism, baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire. Only that baptism could open the gate of eternal happiness. Brothers and sisters, justice that St. John demanded from the people of his time was to be the foundation of their lives. In a certain way, it was the sufficient fruit of John's baptism. It was not sufficient, however, after receiving baptism in the name of Jesus. The fruit of baptism with the Holy Spirit and fire was the practice of the commandment of love. Towards the end of today's Gospel, John also touches the reality of the final judgment day. He speaks about winnowing fan in the Messiah's hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn and burning the chaff in a fire that will never go out. Dear friends, even if this scene can terrify some people, we don't have to worry. We are saved in God's hands. As long as we continue to respond to his offer of salvation and practice our faith, we will not find ourselves in a fire that will never go out. Therefore, let us be joyful on this Gaudete Sunday. Let me finish with St. Paul's words from today's second reading. I want you to be happy, always happy in the Lord. I repeat, what I want is your happiness. There is no need to worry.